Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. You're joining me on board good old Marabout Tilly and today I've got some very quick updates for you. Very small announcements, nothing groundbreaking, but we're gonna try and make this a very short video. So let's get stuck in. Right. So, as I said when I posted the first episode of the Narrowboat Diaries, or episode zero as I called it, because it wasn't the episode I wanted because we just had nothing but rain, so I hadn't got out there and shown you the normal stuff that I get up to, plus it was well over, well, it was over half an hour long, so it was well over the length that I wanted it to be. So, in response to that and a lot of the comments and uh, requests and stuff I've had, I've decided to make the Narrowboat Diaries video series a more frequent series. So rather than trying to make it monthly and try and cram in an entire month's worth of stuff into one video, I've decided to release them as and when I feel it's appropriate for like, well, that's one sort of section of time and next episode can be the next section of time. So for example, I already know exactly what's in episode one, the genuine episode one, and episode two. And by the time those are online, I'll probably have already worked on episode four and be on episode five. So hopefully doing that, I can focus and show you more of the things that I actually want to show you. And by doing shorter videos, but more frequently, it will the end result will basically be that there'll actually be more video time in total in the Narrowboat Diary series than, like I say, trying to take one month of boat life and cram it all into one video per month rather than going, well, I've done loads this last two weeks, so I'm going to do a video there and cut that off for episode one. And then episode two, I already know, I could make just one or two days of the last weeks into entire episodes if needs be, but I don't want to do it quite like that extreme um, breaking down. But as I say, there's plenty of um, Narrowboat Diaries to come, so hopefully you'll enjoy the shorter, more frequent episodes, showing you more of the day-to-day -day things and more of what I love about the canal and being able to just be out here on a boat going about my life. So that's announcement one. Next announcement. There's some people who think that some of the things that I've said or posted on Twitter or Facebook and that recently are uh, hinting or insinuating that I'm going to be giving up YouTube or stopping doing boat videos and stuff like that. Don't worry, that's not the plan. Or worry, that's not my plan. <laughs> so basically, over February, and this is the bigger announcement out of that, I will be doing an entirely new boat-based video series, which will be completely different style videos that you know, than what you're used to seeing come from me, where hopefully you'll enjoy it. I'm not going to say too much, but basically every single weekday during February, there will be a new boat video. And I'm not going to say anything more, just it's not going to be the sort of videos you expect of how I just ramble on or show you the scenery and that. These are hopefully going to be, uh, well, basically February is going to have 20 episodes every weekday, well not 20 episodes every weekday, but one episode per weekday and then from that, that'll be series one and then maybe in a few months time I'll come back and take another month and that will be every weekday, right, there's another 20 episodes and this is series two. So I hope that you'll enjoy that but look for more on that as we approach February. So again, I hope that you will enjoy that and I hope that puts to bed any of the rumours that I'm going to be giving up YouTube and boating and all that sort of stuff. Uh, moving on from there, I also would like to say a huge thank you to everybody who has read The Narrowboat Diaries, the book that released at the start of January. Um, it's, again, it's just crazy to see that it went up for its first week and was the top, it was the, the most popular boating book on the Kindle in the UK for that first week or so. I mean, that's crazy. So thank you so much. As I always say, I'm never going to be retiring off Kindle money or anything like that, but it's just nice to know and it's truly humbling to know as I say that people actually sit down and spend time reading these books which is just amazing so thank you so much it really does mean a huge amount to me. Um, in terms of books and plans for the future I'm currently working and some of you may remember last year during the summer I talked about working on two books at the same time and I almost released one of them last year and the book that I will be releasing next and we're not talking until like months down the line still it's not like next week I'm going to release another boat book but the boat book that I'm going to release next is one that I sort of wish in hindsight I'd released last year when I sort of 
was in the hype of like, well, I haven't got any books scheduled to come out for a long, long time. Perhaps I should work on this and get it sorted now. And I wish that I did because it's so close to being complete. And then there's obviously in my usual way, I ended up rewriting half of it. And that's what I'm doing now, basically. So this book is not going to be part of the Narrowboat Lab trilogy or the Narrowboat Diary series that's currently ongoing. This is going to be its standalone boat book. And again, it's not going to be entirely what people expect. But it's definitely in response to a lot of requests, a lot of requests to do a boat book of this uh, nature that people have asked me to do. So I hope that it's going to be roughly what people who've asked me for this want, and it's going to please those people. But equally, as it's a standalone book, I want it to be something that people will enjoy reading, just totally out of context if you've never even seen or heard of the narrowboat lads who on earth is dan brown and what's youtube basically so i'm hoping that my take on this idea will be something that people will enjoy and as i say i've had a lot of requests for this video so i hope that it will live up to the expectations of what people wanted from me in that general theme so that's really all that i wanted to say and we are on six minutes just over right in that case i'm going to say a huge thank you once again to everybody who's tuned in all the new subscribers out there hello it's just amazing to see it rattle up past twelve thousand subscribers just i just don't even know what i can say to that apart from thank you all so much and going forwards we're well on the march to four million views and that unbelievable like cannot believe it and i really do hope that you'll enjoy the videos i've got lined up for the future until the next time please do subscribe and check out my other videos if you haven't already feel free also to add me on facebook twitter all that sort of stuff um, links in the description and please do consider checking out my short boat life books if you want to help me out and support these videos and keep the camera rolling all that sort of stuff but if not that's absolutely fine and if you're part of kindle unlimited you could read them for free Anyway, until the next time, have an absolutely fantastic day. Until, well, whenever I see you next, keep it boatworthy. And of course, farewell. I didn't really do that. Well, let's, do, let's try that again. Until the next time, keep it boatworthy. And of course, farewell. Lovely. Right, see ya. <laughs>